So my online alias is NCKZ. It actually comes from our old Call of Duty clan back in like Black Ops 2 and Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, it stands for No Camping Kings. We just don't like the method of camping in Call of Duty. We think, you know, it's better just to rush on and not sit in a corner. Plus, for content sake, it's just, it's honestly not like a good sake of content. Uh, and at the time, you know, my buddy and I who helped make that clan, we were huge fans of LeBron James when he played for Miami Heat. We love him and he's known for being the king. So we were known as the No Camping Kings. And then we put a Z as an S because we were 13 and we thought we were the coolest kids on the block doing that. On Twitch, I have been a content creator for almost a year now. Uh, I've been streaming just about anything, but I actually started being a content creator on YouTube before Twitch. I did that for about two years coming on three years now for youtube but everything i used to do was over there and i moved over to twitch just because it was a lot more variety streaming over here the content i create on twitch honestly can be just about anything uh, on a typical day you catch me playing destiny 2 recently it's been modern warfare just because i've been really getting back into a call of duty phase uh, or it could be any other game uh, recently i've been doing uh, gamecube roms on my computer so i've been playing old games like pokemon gale of darkness uh, I'm about to start up another series playing Zelda Twilight Princess, one of my favorite Zeldas. But other than that, I'm typically playing first-person shooters and then occasionally some third-person shooters. Uh, it just depends on how I feel that day, uh, but more likely it's going to be something along the lines of a first-person shooter like Destiny 2, Mono Warfare, uh, and then if I'm feeling feeling a little different, then I'll, I'll change it up. My most memorable moment uh, streaming would be when I was on YouTube and it was about a year or so after I started streaming. Uh, I had just hit 1,200 subs and I noticed my channel had started to die down. So I, I really just picked up doing Fortnite stuff and I was like, hey, what can I do to you know, get my crowd more involved or like do something that's gonna be outstanding or well known. So I decided to do like this Mimi ASMR stream while playing Fortnite. Ow, I've never seen anyone really do that. Ow. And about an hour or two into it, I was in the middle of a fight and I had noticed it over my chat that Nick A30 was in there. Uh, and you know, right. being the friendly family Wait content creator, it. he is, he is like, you know, do you swear? And I was like, no, I don't swear, I don't swear. <laughs> and then all of a sudden I just see thousands of names just pop up. I think the highest amount of people I had in there were roughly about 1,200. And I was just baffled. I ended up losing the fight and I didn't really care for it. But, you know, it, it was just one of those moments that like I'd never seen a chat move that, my chat alone move that quick. Uh, and then I went to one of my intermission screens and just watched that sub counter go up. Uh, in about a span of 20 minutes, I think I'd gained over 1,000 new subs that hit that 2,000 sub marker. And it was, I was just blown away by it. Uh, I actually watched back his uh, his VOD of him braiding me. And it was also nice because he laughed. He thought it was a genuine good content. He oh, said he was looking for something that he's crazy. never seen. And when he saw my thumbnail and my title, he's like, I've never seen this before. And when he heard me talk, he just started laughing. And that was heartwarming to me because I never thought I'd have someone at that magnitude of, you know, streaming and just a big fan base like that that would like my content and laugh at it so that that to me as a content creator was one of my most memorable moments the thing about destiny that brings me back is the fact that there's always something new so right now we're in this kind of transitional period of going from like this new year of destiny and this new season and they've been kind of hyping up this new storyline like we all know what it's going to be and they've just been kind of dropping in new things every single week to lead up to that and to give us something to look forward uh, there's always some type of new events. They always change the weekly events around, like the different destinations, the different things you have to do. Uh, there's a variety of weapon-based quests that you can do. And t what I've been doing recently is because you need three, you, ha you can have three characters in the game. And I've gone through, I found every single old quest, whether it be one I've done before or anything like that. And I just started going back and doing each individual one again. It just gives me something to do throughout the game. So it's the long grinding aspect of the game that I love. I, as a Destiny 1 player, that was something that the community always loved was the grinding aspect of that game. And I remember coming home from school just for hours and hours playing that game until like 2 a.m. And now, you know, I, I still do the same thing in Destiny 2 and they've been bringing that more grinding aspect back. And it, it's honestly just fun, especially if you get a couple friends on, uh, you, you know, you can all laugh, have a good time. And it may seem bad whenever you've been doing the same thing for like three hours, but you know, you have a group of friends there to make you laugh and eventually you get it. It's just that moment of whenever you get it, that makes you just so happy. Well, at least we're on the same page here now. Z and we are your nemesis.